isn't it? How do the macaques work? Is it just one guy? No, it's not no. one king monkey, bro. It's not yeah. like oh, that. Oh, yeah, there is. I mean, the, yeah, there is an alpha, but he's not father to everyone. Oh, uh, well, yeah, usually... That's he gets tired it, eventually. Well, usually that's how it works is the king only is the only guy that gets to fuck the females. Really? Yeah. Um, yes, yeyeah, so that's why the rest of these guys are like jacking off with rocks. Right. Yeah. You fuck you fuck those rocks, okay? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, beta. <laughs> that's awesome, you, a rock. <laughs> you fuck that, okay? <laughs> fuck that for a while. Come talk to me. <laughs> so yeah, pretty crazy. You are! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, boss! Oh, oh hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 1020 of Hard Factor. It is Thursday, April 18th, 2022. Thank April. you for cheating. April 18th. August. April a- Hope you filed Thursday, your taxes. August 18th. <laughs> yes. Hopefully you did. Oh, Back in April. I saw an A and I'm, well, thank you for cheating on the news with us. What I'm doing today is I'm shortcutting everything. So I saw the A in the month mm-hmm. and I just, my brain was like, all right, it's April. It's the it's quickest route to an A month. A month. Short one. April. Have, okay. So everybody who... My hands are barely working. Okay, that, that I want to get that on the table before we go any further. Um, and because, you want to find out why? <laughs> you want to find out why? Go listen to the Hive Hour. I, I, will, I will never say it publicly. I will never say it reason. publicly. <laughs> super dangerous. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> a lethal reason. My my hands are broken, and it's, so I can barely I can barely work a mouse. I can work a mouse barely, but I can barely type and everything. So. Uh, yeah, my brain is making lazy man shortcuts right now. That's here's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say too much, but here's what, April, here's what April I am going to say. To members of the Hardo Hive uh, yeah. that are uh, ex-military or military specialists, ex-military that work in contracting, if you're like a, a like a Blackwater guy you know, or, or gal, um, reach out to Will. I think he needs, he needs, he needs a community right now um, because... Uh, I mean, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. His body's yeah, feeling it. My body's feeling it. Mm-hmm. It's it's really it's really got to be a support group for that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's people that do it right. Re- do what you're doing regularly. Mm-hmm. Maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, but my wrists are uh, wrists and hands are just useless. So I, like they're like a couple of claws. OK, I'll do the demonstration. That's as much as I can open them up. Right. He can't get he can't get negative when for people who are just fully listening. extending his fingers. He can't get right. negative of his palm. Who can yeah. get negative? Me. That's like, like my number. Anybody. One thing. That's how you type. Everybody has to. No, to but do look it at Pat's type. weird hands. Oh, I mean, he really has a concave my hand. weird hands. <laughs> yeah, look at your weird you hands. Him up. You, pulled, you, you, you made him. You made him self-conscious. <laughs> you weird ones? <laughs> look at those things. Those aren't weird. I mean, that's a it's real. Like a, that's it's a like real a bend. U. That's a real bend. I got Bro. none of that right you now. You know what that is? That's hereditary, better, though, dog. Though, my, son, my son does that. He, oh, he really? calls him pat hands. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's got well, some use for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, to find out why my hands are fucked up, Hive Hour, <laughs> patreon.com slash hard factor. But today on this episode, we're talking not just about hands, but also about the real trends, the real internet trends of the news happening this week. You can't type, Will. That's the thing. Will can't type. None of that fake shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's that? Oh, Will I can't Will, type. Yeah, he is, he's, he's disabled currently. Do you want to see how I was typing? Yeah, Wes just demonstrated one finger. My right hand can only do one finger at a time. He's and typing then, like a uh, and, like a And then like my, Greek, left hand can, my left hand can kind of type. A Greek so marble statue is, that came to life and found a this keyboard. This is what I've been at all day. Um, like a prisoner and, typing a letter home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what, what I'm working with today. Uh, so it's mostly uh, image based. Uh, the, this uh, cup of coffee in the big time, but it's got the real trends, guys. Well, we'll talk about the fake trends too, but the real trends mostly. Uh, Wes has an amazing nature themed TikTok international moment on deck. After that, so yeah, this might be one of my favorite nature stories of all time. I'm very excited to hear that, and. We need to get going because at the end of this episode, we have an awesome interview. I thought it was a very fun conversation with Martha Bueno of Miami. Wes, uh, what is she running for? County Commissioner of Miami-Dade. Mm. And she's up against uh, some schmuck, some big tooth dweeb. 
Yeah. Uh, we're not even going to say his name. Doesn't matter. But uh, uh, lots of hair gel. Martha is extremely attractive and she deserves your vote. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and she's a mom <laughs> of four it, very yeah. impressive you wouldn't yeah. guess it she was no. very forthcoming with us she was very um open to our jokes she was a very good sport and i just have a feeling that's just the way she but is you, you, yeah. you're not talking about why we had her on the show the main reason we had her on the show is only fans yeah yeah she's, yeah, she's so, raising money for her her campaign that's via her, her only fans and she's hot, yeah, so. yeah. She, she's done some funny uh only fans campaign ads stick around to the end to hear all about it also, another friend of the show, Coach Duggs. He's fighting this Friday at, at Rough and Rowdy. So just wanted to wish Holy Coach Duggs luck. Very, love. very yeah. proud of Duggs. Very, very impressed that he's 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 been doing the training, getting yeah. through it. Because when you're as big as Duggs is, he must be down. I don't. I, I don't know. He must be down eighty pounds, right? If well, he's if you probably train, losing like ten pounds of must water feel every so good. workout. Good for him. <laughs> must Listen, feel so good. I know it's I, Stu, Stu's helping train him, right? So. It's yeah. gonna be Doug's is such a nice guy that it's gonna be hard to watch Doug's if he gets if he gets the Canadian guy looks pretty strong. Doug's so, has some yeah. serious rage inside of him though. Oh, he's, I know. He, yeah. he has I some agree. deep deep rage that I hope flips on. Yeah, just flip yeah. the switch. He's go, he's gonna be like Stallone and over the top flip the switch on him. Yeah, haven't well, seen it. Crazy. Yeah. You never seen over the top. No, man, that kind of fell in like the category of like Roadhouse, which was like Holy. oh, don't. is there nudity in it? Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. See, it, like, I think the box, the color tones similar to Roadhouse. So like it wasn't allowed in my house and then i just missed it. I need to get back. It's, oh, it's more about like just dudes. No, I know it's, it's like a trucker yeah. arm wrestling movie. Yeah, right? trucker arm wrestling. It. It's great. Whew, glad. Oh, I like to save some of those. I like to save some, you know, like, me too. I think I think actually you're lucky that you've never seen it because I'm jealous. Right. Even. I'm, I'm going to give you guys yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, shit. I saw a Nick Cage one. I Snake Eyes. I hadn't seen Snake Eyes is actually recently. pretty good. And it was great. Uh, I'm I gonna give it. you. I'm gonna give you guys one in the hive. Uh, mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the 1985 film Commando, starring Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger I mean, and Alyssa Milano, if you haven't seen that, that's one of those treats that's just sitting out there waiting for you. What are you doing if you haven't seen that? It's more like it. Come on, watch it now. Well, actually, no. Listen to the rest of this episode, mm -hmm. then go watch it. Okay. You guys ready to do the do the news? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Do, do, Your girlfriend's okay. not going to like it, though. Just saying. I'm going to try to click all the buttons without messing it up today. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. Okay, button one, success. All right, first up, joke of the day. Even though we're going to talk about the fake and real trends of the trending news, cup of coffee in the big time, of course. First up, joke of the day, Wes. Your uh, fire ignition really worked of lighting the fire under everybody's asses in the uh, joke of the day thread on the discord server. Pat had one yesterday. Here's another two winners I got for you today. First up from Amish Brock. Ooh, good to hear from him again. He said, uh, why did the Amish girl get kicked out of her community? I, I don't know why. What? Why? She was fucking two men a night. You know, like <laughs> two men, two men a night. Yeah, yeah I love it. Hell yeah. yeah. And you could, it's, be, <laughs> it's believable that the Amish in He's their back. old English way of speaking would, uh, you know, pluralize Mennonite. To Mennonite. Yeah. Without yeah. The, I like that yeah. a lot. Fantastic joke of the day from Amish Brock. Also, Tony from PA, potentially Amish himself. I mean, he is from Pennsylvania. I don't think he is, but uh, you never know. Uh, he says, why does Santa have such a big sack? Um, I don't know. Why? Because he only comes once a year. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. Balls are backed up, you know. Storing good. it up like yeah. a squirrel. Storing it up. That's we don't, that's we, don't, Santa. we don't talk enough about how Tony from PA works for a minor league baseball team and got a concussion during a, a no. Well, we, a, we a seventh played, inning stretch stunt. Well, we don't. A, a we played the, the video. Yeah. I hope that we are still working on that cut down. He's a mascot. Because I just yeah. I want you to. I want you yeah, to think about that. Tony. Tony and Tony's like a real glue guy to that organization. He's talking about how interns are coming and going, but he's still there, hoping to, to build a strong team. I don't know if Tony this, this is team. a. I think Tony filled in as a mascot on okay. a certain like uh, mascot race, and then it was also pro wrestling night, and he took a chair to the face. I want he you did. to think about. You can tell that. he's dedicated. And are it's you not. Sure he's not a full time mascot. It's not AAA. I don't think. Oh no, he's full time in the club. I know that Wes. He's 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 dedicated to the squad. Yeah, he's a locker room guy. Yeah. So you don't think this is a a, a feeder team of any kind? Oh uh, no, all minor league is a feeder team. The, you start no, with A, oh, then double A, a then okay. triple A. Right. It's just not. We don't. I don't it's know. Grapefruit league. Yeah. yeah. But right, okay. not major league. It baseball. probably is triple A, but it's it's way like grittier to be at a double A or a single A team because you're there because you really love baseball. Right. You get paid less too. 
Oh, you yeah, they, they can pay the dog shit at AAA. Right. Is yeah. as gritty as they come. Look, Tony's taking shares to the face because he loves the team. And you know they don't have yeah. workers' comp. There. That's the kind of guy cat? Tony is. He, he did it. Tony got it. Sec- he got his, his first cat now has a, a, a friend, second nice. cat. Thank you, Tony and Amish Brock for those joke of the day submissions. They were fantastic. Okay. Let's talk about the trends, fellas, because uh, I've tried to look through them. Not so great. Okay. Not much happening. All right. I used to, I used to look, try to look at Twitter and Getter at the same time. And like, you did not. Of, you go to, oh, I did. Oh, I did. I used to go back and forth. I used to like <laughs> ask yeah. trip myself like red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and stare at them. But Getter doesn't even make trends anymore. And then Twitter, we'll talk about what they were talking about uh, on Wednesday a little bit later. But this is what the Google trends were. Okay. And, and we, we got, I got to admit, Google is like, they own the internet basically. So, yeah. Yeah. What they say is trending is like kind of, you know, but let's look. Let's look and see because I don't really think these are the real Internet trends. I think this is just what they tell you, what they want you to believe. OK, okay. number one okay. at the time of taping was a Wednesday. Right. OK. A Netflix thing that's going to come out was number one. Sure. Was Is that okay. Adam's family related? Yeah, it is. We, you know, Wednesday Adams. I don't know. Something on Netflix. You know, what's tight, man. I was sitting looks there. like a blast. Says the I, Verge. I was sitting there <laughs> thinking the other day. <laughs> <laughs> What's Luis Guzman up to? I was like, oh, man, I haven't seen that guy in a while. Oh, yeah. and I then, love that movie. That movie is a fantastic And then, original. bam, he's Gomez. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, man. Oh, Adam's Family is incredible. I like Adam's Family Values better. It's a little quirkier, a little bit more fun. Than the original? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're both great, but. It's a great franchise. I'm sure Wednesday's great. Uh, but, you know, is it really the number one trend? Probably not. Okay, number two, Manchester United. Uh, and Elon Musk like tweeted that, oh, I'm going to buy Manchester United as a joke. And then people thought he was buying it. And that, that's the number two tw- trend. What do you think that was it, like for the guys that actually joke. own Man U for that hour? Uh, He's the probably, richest man in the world. Well, they probably like start. They were probably excited and then yeah. quickly realized it was a joke. Why would right? they be excited? Like, if you if you have enough cash to buy Man U, that, you're doing that because you want to own Man U. Right, because you're not, about to cash out. You're about to get They don't care about that. Owning Man U is more important than the money they would make from selling I Man think U. for I guys think. like that, there's always, a, there's always a price. But what? For what, mm-hmm. you know? Because the guys that own Man U bought it from the... Brought from brought bought it from the other people. Well, I mean, you yeah, can, there's always yeah. you continue. I'm going to figure out who owns Man U and how much they're worth, and then it's we'll the make Glazers, a determination. I think the same people that the Red Campbell Devils, uh, Malcolm Look, Glazer, yes, yeah, the, the Glazers, six yeah, children of Malcolm Glazer, Average right, Joel, the Kevin, Bucks, yeah. Brian mm-hmm. Darcy, and Edwards with an S. What I mean, they, do? they were probably pumped about getting Elon money, I would think, but it was a yeah. joke. Uh, number three, LeBron James, he's agreeing to two year extension with the Lakers. I mean, I don't care, but. Apparently, that's a big. I deal. mean, he's gonna stick it out till his son gets in the league, right? That's his deal. So, whatever, do do what you do, LeBron. LeBron's uh, making some some movies out there. The, the that that DC Superdog uh, film was was a Braun picture. Well, yeah, it was no. a Braun Braun production. Braun, yeah, Braun. Uh, what's the name of his production company? He he um Isn't he has Braun? he has a deal, uh, an overall deal at Warner Brother. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just Braun. That's no, what it's, said it's not. Screen. It's something different. You sure? Then what the fuck is Braun? I mean, I don't know. It's called oh, Spring Hill, Spring Hill Company. I thought for sure it was LeBron James's was Braun. Braun is a different is a different company. <laughs> oh, well, that sucks. Braun. <laughs> Braun, like like like, like the like you B-R-O-N. mean like the, Oh, yeah. That's, what, it, that's how it's spelled. B R O N. I was like, this yeah. has to be LeBron. No, Braun you know, like Studios. Company. Braun. Braun Studios is a Canadian motion picture company uh, based in BC. They oh, did uh, changes everything. Things like um, what did they do? Uh, Not much, really. They've done a lot recently. I've seen Paradox, them in, uh, Rudderless. Braun. Oh, they're a little, they're a little movie studio. They've done indies. Um, okay. Yeah, cool. Braun Productions. You never know. Look at that, LeBron James. Okay, uh, Dodge Hornet, Tasmanian Tiger. I'll show you those in a second. Wolfgang Peterson. Who cares? Emma Randall Quow. Who cares? Look both ways. Don't know. Uh, Brett Barty. I don't know any of these last like six. No, Brett nobody knows Barty? those. Are. Brett Batty. Brett Batty. Spell it for me. B a t y. He's an MLB prospect. Okay. Okay. You know, nobody cares. His last nobody name's knows. Batty, and he's he's an MLB no, prospect. Only one I'm in. Beatty. Beatty. Only. You know how they? Uh, you you you. Uh, Pat said that they were taking away all the Dodge Chargers and Challengers. The gas. That's what that, I'm about to show you with the Hellcat, baby. Well, I don't the think they're, I don't think that's, that's ever going to happen. I think they're they're just saying that so people go and buy a you're shit ton right, of them. Right, Wes. Wes, you're so right because the only trends I care about on that list is Dodge Hornet and Tasmanian Tiger. So here they are, Dodge Hornet. It's a new car by Dodge, okay? It's a crossover SUV, like small SUV, RAV4 size. But 
the thing about it is, is that it comes in only two models. The one model, which is called like the RT, I think, which is like a hybrid. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, uh, a, a souped up uh, four wheel drive, you know, station wagon slash mini SUV that 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 you can plug in overnight and it helps you get 30 miles on a gallon. Okay. okay. So it's like a, it a mini you. SUV. It's a hybrid. Yeah. Well, if you plug it in overnight, it's a hybrid mini. You plug it in overnight, you get 30 miles on a gallon. That car probably that probably doubles its miles per gallon in a city, right? On the it's highway, like it, it, on the highway 20. for sure, because that's when it really kicks in is on the highway when it goes over to electric. Yeah, I, I don't really understand it, but that the one model is like a plug in overnight and it helps you get better gas miles. The other is like classic Dodge muscle. It's the GT. You can go fast as fuck and it's super strong. So yeah, Wes, you're right. And they brought back that other the the dodge the durango like uh right. gt2 which is like I mean, a gas yeah. guzzler so they they're they're doing both they're like giving the gas guzzle people what they want and they're giving the hybrid people what they want that's dodge's new thing with the hornet and the hornet's well, like the first one with you know i gotta do it what? you know what you know i got i don't i don't mean to, to be too big of a homer but you know i gotta compare it to the ford edge sport uh <laughs> the biggest that's sleep, true sleep but also the plan. hornet remember we were herned in hornets that doesn't Anderson. look like a crossover yeah, it it's just like it a sedan. Yeah. It does. West the back is a hatchback, so it's uh, like it's yeah. It's okay. The it's angles. It. Okay, guys. So um, again, uh, so the the GT model is a two point oh turbo, uh, right. which is good. So that's fast. It, it gives you two hundred sixty eight horsepower, two hundred ninety five uh, pounds of torque per foot. But mm -hmm. the problem is, man. The problem is, is that the uh, Ford Edge Sport <laughs> is three hundred fifteen <laughs> horsepower and three hundred fifty. Uh, pounds of torque per foot. So I, I'm just this saying, it's bigger than the edge, or smaller than the it edge. It is I mean. smaller than the it's edge. It's got to be lighter. It's got to be yeah. way lighter because the edge is a pretty big car. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a midsize SUV. It's not. It's not. It's not the uh, Explorer. Well, Sport. but this is this is a crossover. So it's it's a it's a whole different category. I mean, the edge is essentially a station. I'm just saying, this is a competitor with like my car, the the Outback. How many right. uh, does it have? Dual exhaust, but it's like, like way way more expensive. Way more expensive. Okay. So it, I think they're trying to compete with Audi crossovers yes. and and, it and does. Um, Mercedes crossovers. Look, any turbocharged out the box car, it fucks. Uh. Yeah, dude. And plus, it's Dodge, and it's called the Hornet. I would actually, I would drive that car. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, the only other trend I cared about on the uh, quote unquote trend list was, uh, yeah, the old Tas Tasmanian Tiger. You saw that one down there. Uh, so Colossal. The Texas-based uh, biotechnology de-extinction company, the same ones. Okay. So they colored that. They colored that thing. Anyways, it's a they're trying to bring a trash-looking dog. Just saying. It's the same people who want woolly mammoths. I, I don't understand these people. All right? right. How is that a trend? How is that? How is that cracking Google's top ten? I don't understand because I don't think that those are the real trends. Well, I got a trend for you. Will hmm. you could go on over. To Yandex, right? Um, the Russian Ooh. Google, which you trust, but I got I got a little bit of breaking news for you. Hmm. Uh, old Vladdy Putin, uh, old Vladimir Putin, since the invasion of Ukraine, has installed people in the Yandex Corporation and are now controlling what shows up in the oh, Yandex no way. news section. Yeah, kind of like the U.S. government probably controls what goes on in Google, or, or I mean, you know, has a say. Consumers, I, I, would, I would think. I would think more of big large corporations have a say of what goes on. Oh, the government can definitely pull trends when they want. I to. mean, it's, it's not if as any, direct where like Putin picks up the phone and then bam, it's on Yandex. Uh, if anybody knows of a legitimate trend uh, thing besides uh, Yandex, Google or any of them that they, they basically all are skewed and terrible. So you can if anybody knows a, of a true one, you can pay to get trending on Google for sure. Oh, absolutely. Most of the, the Dodge thing we just talked about 100% yeah. paid for. Yeah, okay. So none of those were real trends, as we've established. Uh, but we did talk about an apex predator. And speaking mm -hmm. of apex, that brings us to the cream of the crop. The real trends, the apex mm -hmm. trends this week, <laughs> if you will. OK, mm -hmm. the real ones, the the Tasmanian are, tigers. Th th nobody's talking about the Tasmanian tiger. That's some bullshit. The real trends that people on the Internet streets are talking about, That's like the DoorDash one. guy who got fired for delivering weed on the side of one of his orders. Whoops. That's a story people are talking about a lot, okay? Liz Cheney. She lost her fucking seat by a country mile in Wyoming. And then when she gave a speech to concede, she compared herself to Abe Lincoln right before well, he became president. So uh, I do have to say this about Liz Cheney. Whether you hate Liz Cheney or like Liz Cheney, this is the type of politician we need. Whether you agree with what she did or didn't, 
the idea that she's principled and went against what would have gotten her elected is what I don't we know. need more you of. You know, hey Pat, Hollywood, regardless I, I, of the decision, I would encourage you and all Cheney fans to watch Vice one more time. I did. I'm not a you. Dick Cheney guy. For one, for one more, oh, you think his daughter falls so far from the tree? Watch Vice, and then and then and then you know, just think about it. Just just think about stuff, Cheney fans. Okay. Uh, Twitter, speaking of Cheney fans, lots of them on there. They were freaking out about Trump and his documents, as always. Hashtag the jail, hashtag the documents, whatever. You know, that's that's every day on Twitter. Uh, so that was, that's not a real trend. That's just every day on Twitter. Uh, the Cedar Park couple that had sex in the Cedar uh, Point. Cedar, Cedar Point. Point yeah. Yeah, you're right. Cedar Park's a place in Texas. Cedar Point is a uh, is an amusement park in Ohio. There's a couple that had sex on the gondola there. We talk about Fair, that. The Patreon, Patreon. They're in big trouble. They got that hard fact. They got that nasty sex offender charge for just doing something that was pleasuring them. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to listen to Florida Man Friday to get the whole story. Because turns out, homie was a Florida man who. But was what in, in Ohio. what happened with Cedar weed Park. guy with weed door? I, I saw that he Double he D. accidentally delivered Double the weed. D. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he just like it was stuck left. to the bag. He accidentally left his weed in a bag and he got fired. Look, man, people need to just chill out with the weed stuff. That's why people are talking about. It. They think it's bullshit. All right. Because everybody's like, OK, anyways, those are some trends that people were actually talking about. Not those top 10. But there is two images. I like it when Will images. can't type. I like yeah, this. Good, <laughs> two trending images that define this week of trends. And that's these two, my friend. Uh, first up, Emmett Bailey. Oh, AKA man. mullet boy. You've seen him. Uh, this still image of him on uh, ABC seven says little boy in Wisconsin advancing to the USA mullet championship. He's wearing pit vipers. He's got a sweet blonde mullet. <laughs> and you know. those pit vipers, I put that photo up. They're set to full turbo. They're in full turbo. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. Probably a thousand percent. So that's Emmett Bailey. He calls himself mullet boy and turns out that wasn't a fake like image. I thought like, holy shit. Is that fake? No. It's real. It's Everybody's everywhere. sharing it because it's the mullet championships this week. The USA mullet championships voting has already begun. It's going on Monday, August 15th, ends Friday, this August 19th. Uh, and uh, yeah, so mullet championships. You, oh, man. You can, like, you can vote online if you really want to get in there and like oh, you know, yeah. push. It's a bunch of chubby kids with mullets. You don't be so kids, sick. Mostly. I think if you, there are, you know, I don't, hopefully it's multiracial. I have no idea. If you could grow a good mullet, and I can, if I had the time, the energy, the effort, mm -hmm. I would, and I, I could qualify, which I think I could, I would go in character as a French mullet goer who pronounces it moulet. Mm. Moulet? Yeah, right. like, I think like a little costume. Just troll Americans? I think yeah. a little theme go over well with your there. mullet. You don't think? I don't know. I think you might be able to like pick up like a, a heel, it's like advance yeah. a few rounds as a heel. Moulet? They would mm -hmm. hate moulet. <laughs> Just eating snails up there. <laughs> it's mostly it's mostly kids in flannels. Um, yeah. yeah, but anyways, a lot of the listeners <laughs> submitted this, and they say that we probably look like these chubby little kids with mullets when we were kids. So we didn't have mullets. No, we I didn't. Curly we hair. Chubby. No, we were chubby. I was chubby. We chubby. I wasn't chubby. Okay. Well, that's right. Pat wasn't chubby. I was skin Sorry. and bones. Pat was skinny. Well, Product of my that. environment. Look at that. Okay, well, uh, there's one other trending image this week that really encapsulates. Mark wasn't chubby either. I got to make that because he'll, he'll get mad. If, yeah. Oh yeah, Mark. Oh, it's true. Chubby. Mark wasn't chubby either. Okay, he was just two chubby little star kids. Star soccer player. None of us had. Neither of us had mullets. Sorry to disappoint. He was a everybody. defensive player. He was, <laughs> he was a sweeper. A sweeper, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He played okay. club select. Travel, yeah. Travel yeah. and varsity. Very, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very as good. a sophomore, right? Oh yeah, as a sophomore. It was a good team. So. A couple guys went on to go play in 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 D one collegiate on that same yeah. team so no he's great good good athlete good athlete that mark uh okay one other trending image fellas that defines this week and it was sent in by so many listeners i can't even count them can't even list them here it is uh that <laughs> holy is, shit that is orion ca51 okay that's a tagged orca uh, he's a big oh fan my. of Free Willy, says the caption. God. Guys, describe to the listeners what Orion CA-51 is showing off right there in the ocean. Holy shit, yeah, it's man. It's a giant whale cock is what it is. Yeah. It looks like yeah. he's firing a flare from his, <laughs> from his groin. Yeah, like the world's largest gooey duck is on, attached oh to him. Oh, yeah. Lord. Orion is really, really exploring the space with that big old dick of his. I had and, no uh, idea. Yeah. 
It's it's yeah. unwrapped, so like it's an animal dick, right? So so it's uh, <laughs> it's it's all red and shit, right? Like it's like a very long circumcised penis that was unfurled. It's, it's like it's, a horse. It's, it's like, like a, a pink sticky dick. doggy dick. It's like a yeah. horse's dick. Right. Oh my lord. Okay, so but the it's the equivalent Huge. of imagine Animal. this. That's imagine amazing. you're a dude. It would like, be like if you if a dude had a boner up to his nipples. up to his elbows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> up to his bows. Yeah, it's just, like a Batten it's it like around. it would be like, yeah if like a, if a man had a two and a half foot bone. It would be like if a not, man had a uh, had a had a, a semi truck gear shift length dong. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's probably like a five six foot erection. Uh, no wonder yeah, they so. do whatever the hell they want in the ocean. Yeah. Really. Do they show what got him riled up, or we just we, we only know one side of the story? No, I'll, I I do know that there's more angles, but that's just the most impressive. So. Um, I mean, he could look it up. He could can. if he wanted That's Orion to. CA 51. That was caught this week. And that was a very trending image I'll with the right that. support. He could fuck if, 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 if with the right support, with the right like angles and, and braces and stuff. If Orion wanted to, he could bang you in the ass and it would come out your mouth. He could skewer stick you. He could shish kebab. Yeah. I bet that you could sell that not to go back to the well, but I love the it. Dick. You could sell that to uh, China, uh, the right Chinese. A uh, businessman for like five million dollars. Oh yeah, do that. That Imagine picture gives them boners. Right, exactly. I know that's what I'm saying. They're like a lifetime supply of boner medicine right there. He puts that over top of his bed. You fossilize that. Put oh. that over your bed. Dude, oh <laughs> my goodness. It's it's Holy it's shit. it's like God misplaced a narwhal horn. Is what it's like. It's amazing. Yeah. So uh, Orc is really showing off why they are apex. I what, have no idea. Much much more apex than the uh, Tasmanian tiger. I mean, it's not even close. 36 years, and this is the first whale dick I've ever seen. Like Me too. Like, what's been going on? I've seen so, so many huge. photos like this. It, it's well, the typical whales, photo. Blue whales have huge penises, too. But so. we've all seen this picture before. It's it's Shamu, right, mid-jump. We've all seen Green this photo a hundred times. Water, yeah. This He's full, fully aroused. Fully. Whoa. This is, I can't believe it. I want to see one jizz now. Right? I mean, like, it's got to be impressive. What if so. he was shooting? Dude, if he was shooting, send me that. I'm going to get my Photoshop on. Oh, Pat, just Pat, just go on Instagram and look up Orion CA51. Everybody is reposting pictures of this dick. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the most trending thing I've ever seen. We got it submitted to us. Okay. And we're sure I it's real. Even, yeah. No, it's it's real. It's legit. I've seen it so many times. It was captured just this week, Wes. Uh, caught yesterday on board of at Blue Ocean Whale Watch uh, by at Eric uh, Austin. Austin E. I can't stop looking at it. Yeah, it's, so like, a, it's like a it's, baby it was, tremor. It was, it was shot this week. I'm telling you, this, guys, it's a real picture. For real. It's a, They got huge dicks. Okay, thanks Holy to shit, Casey. Wait, one second. What? I, just, I would looked up Killer Whale Penis, and it brought up this story that we missed from two weeks ago. Uh -oh. uh, a Sea World Killer Whale bit off a swimmer's penis and uh -huh. then drowned him. Um, insult to injury the biting the dick off wasn't enough it was uh he snuck in it's better um, that way i guess wait was it is it tilikum yeah tilikum he did it again tilikum did it again well they gotta let him go why do they keep having him locked up he's he's already killed three people this except he took fourth? off this guy's dick and then he drowned him so you're telling me tilikum killed a fourth person this year he this this article is from from t two weeks ago let me let me just see uh daniel dukes oh wait no this is 1999 he yeah, took yeah, off a dick in '99. Yeah, he did. Was this Tilikum one or two? Yeah, Tilikum yeah. one. He was a dick. He was a dick eater. Jesus. Okay. He killed three people. After I don't know why it's all the sudden back. Their dicks off. You yes. didn't have to drown him. You know. Well, you know what? That's why you don't keep him locked up. Look at that thing. You don't want to lock. You want to cage up that monster. Well, I don't know how you can. Look at Orion CA fifty one. He's not getting locked in a cage. I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, you'd have to if you were if you were making uh, whale condoms. You'd have to be shopping by the yard for fabric. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whole rolls. <laughs> oh, Ryan. What a beast. Okay, thank you to Casey, Evan, Little Shrimp, and the countless others uh, in the hive keeping us up to date on the real trends this week. Those are the real trends, everybody. And the real trends were brought to you by Upside. Uh, from cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts, and it really hurts. We all know that. That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anybody who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. Sound like you? Sounds like me. I know that. With every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. It's so easy and convenient to get cash back. You would be crazy not to take advantage. It's a free app. You're just getting cash back, stacking it. Every time I get a jack-in-the-box breakfast or fill up a tank of gas, 
boom, stacking my rewards every single time. So easy. Uh, to get started, download the free Upside app. Use our promo code HARDFACTOR, all one word, and get five bucks or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Uh, next, claim an offer uh, for whatever you're buying on Upside and check in at the business and then pay as usual with your credit card uh, that you've registered on the app and get paid. So it's, it's just that simple. Like I said, uh, if I skip, if I don't cook for myself that morning, I'm getting a jack in the box breakfast. Boom. Upside cash back rewards. If I am looking for the tank of gas, I pull up the map. I can see wherever the cheapest tank of gas is. Boom. Go in there. Upside rewards. Uh, in comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with upside. Uh, probably why it's got a 4.8 star rating on the app store. Pretty damn good. It's on uh, my front page of apps. Oh, you, you get it's 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 front page worthy. Yeah. Um, Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. Download a free Upside app today, the free Upside app, and use promo code Hard Factor, all one word, to get five bucks or more cash back on your first purchase of ten bucks or more. That's five bucks or more cash back on your first purchase of ten bucks or more using promo code Hard Factor. Nice. <clears throat> All right, uh, before we get to the TikTok international moment, got a little correction, a little, you know, uh, appeasement to make. Um, the other day, I did a story about the spotted lanternfly and how it is affecting, yes. um, possibly could decimate New York's uh, grape uh, product, the, 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 you know, crop. That's terrible. Right. And, and we were, we were, you know, we made a few jokes saying, it's like, oh, oh no. We, let me clarify. I, did, I don't know anything about <laughs> I, I shit on their wine because it's horrible. Yeah, you okay. live in there. And I, 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 went to, I went to the fucking uh, the wine country of upstate New York where they serve Maybe fucking there? ice wine. Because, mm -hmm. look, it's just. Well, it's but not Virginia's got okay wine. And we're, no, we're Virginia familiar. wine's butt, too. Look, any no, there's state, some good wines. Any Virginia. state can generate decent, some sort of decent wine. Like, any, you know, any state can, can make you an okay bottle of wine. But okay. there's certain states that shouldn't be grown wine. Okay. Well, you're saying New York's one of them. Pat, we uh, we had we had the uh, owner of a vineyard from the Finger Lakes God region damn it. in New York. <laughs> Which one? His name is. I, he didn't tell me the the vineyard. I'd like to know. Smart um, move. I, I've smart probably gotten drunk his, at it. And I probably smart move myself. on his behalf. Yeah. His name's Mike Calisi, and um, he said that uh, you know, b despite uh, popular belief. New York is way more than ice wine and Concord grapes. He says that they produce Ooh. an amazing Riesling Chardonnay, a lot of great uh, red wines. And he says their their climate um, closely resembles that of Burgundy um, and the great wine regions of Germany. So take that. Um, yeah, yeah, if so you want like some sweet Gewürztraminer from Germany, then yeah, I'm sure it's very yeah. similar. He said they have a historic tradition of great sparkling wines as well. Um, he said that he should have sent us a bottle uh, for, to celebrate the thousandth episode. I said, I said you guys might enjoy um, to partake in that. So hopefully yeah. he reaches out again, and we can maybe shout out his vineyard. Um, but you know, just wanted to clear the air. Yeah, tell we us know where everything. the vineyard is. We want to, yeah. we want to shout it out, and I want to go right. next time I'm in the area. They, he said there's 471 wineries in the state, 35,000 acres of vineyards, and 60, $6.65 billion in economic activity. And then he followed that up with, oh, oh, oh. We, must, we must be doing something right. Look, <laughs> I must be. I had, a great, like <laughs> I had a great time in the Finger Lakes. We went there for our baby moon. Uh, I got drunk. I had an awesome time. There, yes, there's great wine everywhere. I'm, and I'm sure there are. Look, you, 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 it's you, just, you're not, just Pat will never order it. He'll right. never order a New York bottle. You grow where you're planted. But, wine but there is great wine everywhere. You grow where you're planted, you know. Right. Anyway, where thank were you, you planted, Pat? What? Where would you order a bottle from? Italy, 100. percent I, I mean, I'm just uh, obsessed with. Well, Italian yeah, wine. because we worked at that Italian. It got me hooked, man. Yeah, got me great. absolutely hooked. I, I like some some Napa Valley wines, some Willamette Valley wines, mostly Italian wines, some French wines. Mm -hmm. And look, and I had a great time in the Finger Lakes. <laughs> just not New York time. My, my, my lady, her dad exclusively drinks wine from the Finger Lakes. Uh, there's one vineyard up there he orders cases from. It's good stuff. Cool. Well, uh, you know, Mike, thank you for correcting us. Uh, good luck with your vineyard. Send us some wine. Send us the name of it, and we'll shout it out. Yeah. And uh, thank you for the kind words uh, in that message as well. Um, all right, guys, let's do it. It's time for the TikTok international moment. All right, guys, TikTok international moment. Just one for you today because it is fabulous. We're going to go to Bali. Um, and we all know that uh, macaques are just disgusting creatures, right? They throw they throw babies off of rooftops. They throw yeah. puppies off of 
you know, sacred buildings. They attack humans. They steal their food, their wallets. They're monsters. Uh, but guess what? For some reason in many countries, macaques are pretty much, you know, sacred. Uh, they're, they're hands off. Don't touch these things. Like in Bali's. It is weird. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking weird. Like in Bali's uh, sacred monkey forest, also known as Mandala Suchi Wanarawana or the Ubud monkey forest. Take a look. Um, here's some pictures. They just live in this temple, which is ded dedicated to Shiva, and they just run the fucking place. It's gorgeous, um, and they have full run of this entire sanctuary, right? They just they just have a whole big mansion for the monkeys. Yeah, there's about there's a, there's over a thousand monkeys there. They also have been known to snatch your fucking purse and then demand food for its return. But they they're they're <laughs> they're fed human food. Um, and look at this right from the frequently asked section uh, of the website of this sanctuary. Um, it says uh, the main food. Oh, sorry. Um, the, the main food of monkeys is sweet potatoes. But in daily, they combine it with uh, banana, papaya leaves, seasonal fruit. So, you know, every day is just the best for these fuckers. Right. Every day is just the best. They got they live in a palace. No one yeah, bugs them. They're eating right. human food. They're taking hostages. They're doing ransoms. Right. Exactly. Um, also, frequently asked question, what do you do if a monkey bites you? Well, you don't do anything to the monkey. You go take your ass to first aid and pretend like it didn't happen is basically what right. they tell you, right? Mm -hmm. They tell you to stop your crying. So, Thailand's even more submissive to the macaques than Japan. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is crazy. Um, anyway, you get the picture. Uh, monkeys run the temple um, and because they don't have to spend time for It sounds like, well, I mean, Wes, correct me if I'm wrong here, but it sounds like a lot of Asian countries are sort of subservient to their macaque population. They are. They're, they're macaque sims. They are. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, 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 it's insane to me. Okay. Yeah. So when you don't have to spend a lot of time foraging for food and all that other monkey business, guess what? You have a lot of free time on your hands. And what do you guys do when you have some free time mm -hmm. on your hands during the day? Uh, well, scroll, scroll the internet. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. First thing I do is the laundry. Then the dishes clean up, throw a you know? phone call to my mom get the mm -hmm. vacuum out right maybe do a walk around the hood get my yeah, steps in prep dinner yeah sure me too but and then i get my tabs open yeah, yeah. 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 tap tap i might watch that one i might watch that one i got 40 tabs is that enough moving through the ads hit and stop forwarding so i can go so i can just rip through these preloading the ads done 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 if you, if you got yeah if you got a day alone there, right. you're gonna see something that gets you thinking that's right then, okay yeah. you guys masturbate that's what you do and guess what these monkeys are doing <laughs> well <laughs> these monkeys are kinky and hardcore they don't just masturbate they are so hardcore they're using stones to masturbate <laughs> stones you think you're a freak no 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 these monkeys are using stones to masturbate. I, I don't come till I bleed. Yeah, that's so, crazy. It's they crazy. find like so, dick shaped stones. Just wait. So from Vice published on August 4th in the Journal of Ethology, International Journal of Behavior, Behavioral Biology. Researchers analyzed how this population of Balinese monkeys play with stones, among other innocuous uses, including biting and gathering the stones. Video footage mm. collected between 2016 and 2019 also shows hundreds of of instances of monkeys in the sanctuary, both male and female, tapping and rubbing the stones on their genitals, seemingly in a state of sexual arousal. So, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it goes on. You, so the men just mash their penises <laughs> stone. Talk about getting your rocks off. Am I I'm ready? Gonna little, <laughs> I'm going to play you a little video while I talk here. So uh, for the male monkeys, see, oh, see me. He's, he's got like he's trying to start a flat fire oh, with, yeah. with a flint Dick rock. So skinny. It's hilarious. He's, he's rubbing the little stone on his penis. Um, so for male monkeys, their genital stone tapping and rubbing occurred more often and lasted longer when they had an erection. Duh. Okay. But despite rubbing the stones on their erect penises, the male monkeys never managed to ejaculate. But let's be honest. This is a learning process. Pretty soon, every stone in that sanctuary is going to be just. Oh, that covered. guy's got a little hard on. Hilarious. Look at yeah. how yeah, yeah. hilarious their little hard ons are. Don't man. let these guys see Orion, it, man. No, dude. The orcas yeah. would make these guys feel terrible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you see, these monkeys are way ahead of the curb. They are literally evolving right before our eyes. Uh, Camilla Senni, the paper's co author and PhD candidate at the University of Lethbridge in Canada, told Vice World News that while masturbation in primates is not uncommon, the use of tools for this process is very rare. So these monkeys are 
advanced. Um, quote: this is it, hitting their little dicks with tiny rocks. I'm gonna get yeah, you fucking pregnant. I'm gonna get you yeah. fucking pregnant, they, rock. They, they, they rub it up and down. Dude, on, and on he the licks cock. it right after. Oh, yeah, well, they hold it. Well, they are monkeys. Quote, it's hard to give a very solid explanation. Nice, Camilla. She slipped solid in there. But it really Ooh. seems that they do it because it feels good. Uh, uh -huh. There is some oh, sort yeah. of tactile stimulation from the contact of these stones with their genitals, and it feels great. And there's no reason to stop. I mean, Camilla nailed it. Rubbing a stone on their monkey dick feels so good, they see no reason to stop. Because why would they, right? You know what it is? It's the stranger. It's because it's because they can't. It's it's, it's not their. It's, it's something that's not their hand. And this guy's just kind of humping a rock. As this you is, say. all these monkeys must have had tough relationships with their dads. Yeah, I mean their, their, well, their bellies the are bad, isn't it? How do the macaques work? Is it just one guy? Who no, there's not no. one king monkey, bro. It's not. Yeah. Like that. Oh, they, yeah. There is. I mean, the, yeah. There is an alpha, but he's not father to everyone. Oh uh, well, yeah. Usually. That's he gets tired it, eventually. Well, usually that's how it works is the king only is the only guy that gets to fuck the females. Really? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's why the rest of these guys are like jacking off with rocks. Right. Yeah. You fuck you fuck those rocks. OK. Yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, beta. <laughs> it's awesome. Once you rock. <laughs> you fuck that. OK. <laughs> fuck that for a while. Come talk to me. <laughs> So yeah, pretty crazy. Um, I mean, you know, they, they, their bellies are full of papaya. They got chips from visitors. They're like, "See ya, boys. I'm gonna go rub some stones." You know, yeah. which I think we should start calling jerking off rubbing stones. See if it catches. Yeah, rubbing stones. Um, <laughs> <pretty good. laughs> While the study found uh, strong evidence that the male monkeys were using stones for masturbation, it was harder to ascertain what was going on with the female monkeys, who were also touching themselves with a stone. So it wasn't just a male thing, which you might expect. So, quote for females. It's a little bit harder because we don't really have an easy sig uh, signifier of arousal, says so Cena. Yeah, except when their you know eyes roll in the back of their head and they shit themselves. Mm -hmm. They did, however, observe your girl too, huh? <laughs> yeah. They did, however, observe some selectivity in the stones that the mature female monkeys chose to tap or rub their genitals with, often preferring ones with sharp edges or a grainy texture. And you know why? Because monkey clits are probably very small, so they really need Ooh. to get in there, and the rougher the better, so each swipe catches that monkey clit just my right. Mm, stab me in the clit, stab me in my monkey clit. I need to find a rougher rock. I need a rough rock to catch it, you know what I mean? <sighs> once you, uh, <laughs> hey Gary, once you uh, practice on these stones for a while. Yeah, macaques are a real problem. I'm gonna go They're take care of the ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, don't, they don't seem like they should be worshiped by anybody. Right. The more we get to know about them. Well, she went on to say uh, playing with stones, which has also been observed in Japanese macaques, is considered a cultural behavior passed among certain populations of monkeys with the same species. But she said that stone play is quite common among macaques in Bali and that the stone assimilated masturbation likely emerged from this. So if you stop and uh, start watching these monkeys as they play with stones, you're very likely to see this at masturbation act. And yeah, you're going to see it. Uh, word has gotten out. Pretty soon it's going to be like the sacred masturbating monkey forest. Just a bunch of monkeys guarding their piles of, you know, best stones everywhere. Oh, you look. man, I can't wait till there's a, the next Planet Earth drops and Attenborough is is uh, narrating a monkey just beating his dong with a couple stones. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> enjoying himself to the fullest. It's magnificent. Nature. The, the monkey <laughs> takes the stone, uh, rubs it on his penis. Um, but uh, free time is the explanation here. She th uh, is, you know, I think it's quote. I think it's only part of the story. The other part is it's hard to pinpoint because you would have to see the first monkey doing it. And I think if you want to look for the monkey that all the other monkeys are bringing like presents and carrying around like a prince, that's probably the one that discovered this and is now like a legend among these monkeys for showing everyone else how to do this. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's he, the rock guy. Tell yeah, you what. Yeah. Tell you what's gonna happen king. eventually. <laughs> I don't know if you He's guys saw. Legend. I don't know if you guys saw 2001: A Space Odyssey, but these beta, these betas <laughs> that are having to get off with stones eventually are going to realize that if they throw those stones, the alpha might be in trouble. You know what yeah, I mean? Why would I you mean, Why would you throw it if you can rub it on your cock? Because look, banging other macaques <laughs> is better than banging even the yeah, smoothest. Yeah, the alpha stone. probably has beaten up all these guys like ten times. Yeah. Rock Rock guy was just the monkey that got beat up so many times. He was finally like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna start fucking some rocks." That's right. I mean, Pat, you're you're right. That that 
other monkeys will sneak some sex. That that absolutely happens. But if if the if the Malfa catches them, he he beats their ass. I'm yeah. I'm saying so, yeah. and he tells them to go bang the stones. Right. Why don't you yeah. go, why don't you go fuck stones? But one, eventually, three or four of those monkeys are going to be fucking stones, looking over at the Alpha banging mm-hmm. uh, monkey pussy, and they're going to say, "Wait a minute." What if I threw this stone at that well, alpha? Well, that's just how their society works, and then then that's the, then that's the test. But then they yeah. might get beat up again, and then they're fucking the rocks. Right. right. Then he becomes the stone master. The stone master. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a uh, an interview up, right, Wes? That's right. Coming up, um, we'll just introduce it, and it uh, you might seem a little weird because we uh, I included the opening where we talk to the, our guest and tell them to sync up the audio and all that kind of stuff. But we, I thought it was funny, so we left it in there. So if the interview doesn't start off quite as uh, you know normal as you uh, as you might think, that's what happened. But it's a great interview. She Ooh, talks about little. corruption. She talks about her OnlyFans. She talks about weed. She talks about. She gives us some um, examples of uh, you know some of the DMs that she gets. Very fun interview. Very hilarious, good sport, and uh, someone you should vote for if you live in Miami-Dade County. Martha Bueno, here it is. Hey, Martha. Um, I'm going to count to um, three, right? And then on the fourth beat, we're all going to clap together. So it's going to make one, two, three. Clap on the fourth. Cool? All right, got it. Cool. All right, let's do that, guys. One, two, three. Oh, that was perfect. Perfect. Wow, you really did that nice. better than any guest we've ever had. It yep. was really nice. Wow, I can clap better than your other guests. I'm yeah. so impressed. A lot, yeah. a lot of guests I mean, just like, don't We're clap. impressed. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're, you? you're clapping. Like, <laughs> so, so, so it's hard for you to impress yourself then because I'm impressed. But yeah. You're not impressed. I'm not impressed. Yeah, yeah I looked at a bunch of dicks last night. Um, as I, I didn't know that as soon as the OnlyFans threshold is crossed, May, uh, dick pics start coming into your inbox. I didn't know. Oh that. my god! And dick videos. What? Oh, I didn't look videos. at any videos. Those are creative. Yeah, oh. it's great. It, it Does... comes in blurred. I'm sure, as you know. And then I was like, oh, that can't be a dick. That's probably a gag. It's oh, like a no. it's like a pink bong. Yeah. Are any uh, creative? Do you get any like uh, like the little underwear, like uh, the elephant tusk or anything like that? Uh, I haven't seen. You know what? Actually, I've been really bad. I have not been responding to the comments. I haven't been looking at them. Actually, campaigning. Right. I've been a little busy. And then also um, my social media people are like, hey, oh, my God, let's let's respond. Like, let's do it on camera. Yeah. Read the comments and stuff. And I'm like, all right, that sounds like a great idea. Sure, I'll read them. On. I bet a yeah, nice that's a lot dick. of comments, though. They're yeah, going to have to prep that for you. You're going to have to have a stack of index cards ready to go. I bet a that. nice I mean, dick I mean, comment from Martha goes a long way for a sick fuck. Why not? Oh, are you yeah. kidding me? I didn't know. I mean, I, I just, it was like literally as soon as you're on OnlyFans, no matter what you're doing on there, as soon as you're on there, it that's a se- effectively well, consent to send how, dick pics. How many of those you know, penises yeah, are Anthony How, how did you not suspect that? that I just was, figured, I thought it was a one-way. the whole way. point of the story. Welcome to being female. Right. <laughs> well, also literally the point of OnlyFans. That's not funny. It's a, it is. It what do is, you it mean? Is, okay, explain to me why men think that we want to see it, like unsolicited. No, 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 no. no. What no, I'm we saying, know I, I don't can't explain it to you because the, the guys it's, it's, who are subscribing to an OnlyFans channel, they they feel like they are let behind the curtain, and this curtain includes freedom to send dick. Oh, they probably think you they're married to you. Yeah, or dating you're you. masturbating yeah, inside right. this curtain, this OnlyFans curtain, constantly. So mm-hmm. the, the, they feel very comfortable with the penis and all sure. nude content behind the curtain. And that's just how it works. I mean, that's that's the only fans business model. Right. And it's I mean, true. They feel you know, entitled. They feel entitled since they subscribe yeah, to show part you of their the, penis. Yeah. Yeah. I right. mean, that's part by of, all like, means, mm-hmm. send me send me them. I, I'm not going to stop look. it. Yeah. Right. But they, I mean, but they feel like happy. part of the subscription. They're like, look, you know, I would feel I'd feel awkward saying my dick pic on Instagram to her handle but on OnlyFans though yeah because it's, it, that's that's assault go. but as soon as they as soon as you get only fans i guess they could take it as consent but do you see uh people or men on only fans describing what they're going to be doing that's another thing i found weird it's one thing to be like hey let's chat it's another thing to be like let's chat while i'm masturbating with a pencil up my ass right um mm. i again i haven't gone through all the comments i i went through the comments before when there were a few um, and then I went on Crowder and um, now there's thousands. It, yeah. Well, I don't know about oh, thousands, yeah, but there's definitely just probably wait. a few no. hundred. Um, wait, wait. So the Crowder fans, that's that's a hell of a community, right? I mean, there's nothing like being called a whore by people that then send uh-huh. you. 
Show um, it to me, you whore. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I bet that happens all the time. I want to see it, and then I want you to that, cover it up. That's public life, <laughs> private life. That's that's what I'm talking about. The OnlyFans curtain. You know what I mean? Like that's mm-hmm. that guy in front of the curtain. You're you're a whore. Behind the mm-hmm. curtain, you are his obsession. You're such a whore, bitch. But show it to me. But talk. Right, but right. treat treat me like my mother. I mean, that's a, that's a, a lot of guys on OnlyFans. It got to be. That's got. It's got to be like a release. It's kind of like the business model. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like. But you I mean, know what? They paid to call me a whore. So. There you go. Oh, they're there doing that inside OnlyFans. Oh, sure. And on Twitter. But I mean, the Twitter ones are just like, okay, have you seen the videos or Instagram or whatever? It's like, have you seen the videos? It's like a dunk tank. Right. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they get many, you know, women in lingerie type things in their lives. So to to you, you know, that's I wasn't wearing lingerie. I mean, pajamas. Yeah, pajamas. But but they call they call pajamas lingerie. These type of guys. They're like, she's wearing lingerie. (laughs) Wes, you want it? Wes, you want to kick off the interview? Yeah, let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. You ready? Okay. All right. Welcome to the show. Very special guest, uh, Martha Bueno. She is a candidate for Miami Dade County Commissioner. Is that correct? That is correct. In District 10. Awesome. And and um, Martha, of course, you know, uh, besides from just being one of the most beautiful politicians out there, caught our attention um, from uh, her well, the way she's raising money, which is she is using only fans in order to compete against her, her opponent um, who owns his own business, has raised over a million dollars. And you saw no other way. Uh, to beat this 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 guy, except for to uh, you know use what you have and um, get on OnlyFans. Is that is that fair to say? Not quite. So okay. well, I knew um, I was I knew I was wrong. It. Yeah. It. So <laughs> actually, um, that's what I, actually happened. I raised a lot more money off of OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans was a way to bring attention, and I've definitely gotten it. And okay. um, as far as my opponent being a businessman. Um, he started a business 12 years ago. It's him, his wife, and one other person. I've started several businesses. Uh, the first one when I was 17 with my mother. The last mm-hmm. one I exited um, was on the Inc. 500's fastest growing companies in America, number 97 in 2011. We have over 50 million in sales and over wow. 100 employees. So yeah, um, wow. I don't think he's the businessman here necessarily, but okay. we both are into business, sure. Oh, okay. Can oh, we call him a can we call him a man or shouldn't probably not even, right? Like he's a business boy. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I believe boy. he's yeah. I believe he's a man. Um he does have children and I, I particularly right. don't care to talk about him. He is my neighbor and he's in the one oh, he's your neighbor? neighbor? Yeah, we live no across way. from each other. Mm-hmm. Is that Come why you're on. running against him? Oh, wait, okay. No, okay. I started running first. He's running against me. Uh, who, oh, throws, really? who throws better parties? Who who plays louder music and throws better parties? Like I don't it... play loud music, but I have people here all the time. This okay. is definitely the party house. We you have, have a pool? Yeah, of course. of course. Has he ever called the cops on you like a narc? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I thought he might have. I've seen his videos. So yeah. Wait. How how long has he been your neighbor? Really? He's a dweeb. Um, he's been my neighbor since 2018. I want to say I've. I've been so he knows you. Are you guys know each other? You, you've seen yeah. each other. No, I mean he he knows you exist, right? Let's like be honest, that exactly. kind of. Of course, he's not cool enough to get invited to your parties. Let's just no, say, let's he's just not say at what's the pool, happening. right? Yeah, but he's thinking, oh, my hot neighbor who I keep tabs on on the internet. I see she's running for county commissioner. Now I'm running for county commissioner. Do you think it's that sort of thing? Uh, I don't think he he was running because of me. I think he he figured that this is a better job. He doesn't have to go up to Tallahassee for it. Based oh, on wow. his interviews I've seen in the clips, the news clips, I think he's running because he loves having a super PAC. Right. Is there or is that is that <laughs> well, is he's that, raised a lot of money with this? He pack. certainly seems to. Yeah, he seems to put an emphasis on on that. Yeah, his pack is big. And, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean he owes anybody <laughs> any favors or anything. No, Pat, no. just want to see it. Uh, uh, one point three million dollars from his him. pack. No. I bet you it's really big. You yeah, Martha, can bad we play news. the video? Can we play the video for our audience? And, <laughs> well, and we can, and, but bad sure. news, Wes. Yeah. Um, huh. What? I just got an email to the hard factor email. It looks like. Uh, Anthony Ruiz bought Hard Factor. So the center of you might <laughs> come on. Okay, well, well, this might be the last Hard Factor yeah. ever, but uh, we're going to play this video regardless. Here we go. I'm Anthony Rodriguez. That's not the right one. No. That's no, the wrong one. That's the mm, one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> no, <almost. laughs> We're almost there, guys. We almost got it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why he, he's buying yeah. it, because slow budget. Candidates District 10 will elect a new county commissioner, and one candidate running for that seat is getting quite creative. Oh, yeah, she really is. Uh, she's turning to OnlyFans and online subscription platform to raise money and engage with voters. 
I believe I stand for smaller government. I stand for the community at large that is tired of seeing um, politicians promise things and not deliver them. I hear you've been a really bad boy this campaign. <laughs> Aiming there to win is. the race, Libertarian Jamas. Martha Bueno using Jamas. the online platform OnlyFans to expose what she says is dirty politics. We have people who have taken money from, from questionable sources and laundering it through these campaign accounts to other candidates. My name is Martha Bueno, and welcome to my OnlyFans. It's drawn many eyes towards Bueno, who faces Republican candidate Anthony Rodriguez. You donated $30,000 to Mickey Steinberg's <laughs> campaign. In one video, Bueno says, I'm yeah, talking to, so uh, supposedly, to Anthony Rodriguez. And I'm telling him that he's a naughty boy because he's taken this money and he's given it to the Democrat candidate or, or several Democrat candidates. Now, Rodriguez has raised one point three. OK, who cares about him? How many times has Anthony watched that video? Nerd. Has Anthony? Oh. No idea. But oh, he, he subscribed to yeah, my OnlyFans. He's he one of the first five people. Yeah, but how do you know it should be anonymous usernames? Yeah, but his campaign hmm. manager is called Dark Horse Strategies, and one of the oh. first five people to sign up was Dark Horse. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When, when, okay. when they said transparency, research, right? That's what Mar they'd say. But I'm sorry, Mar everybody's talking at the same time, guys. Take, take turns. It's one of a big, uh, one of our big problems here. <laughs> <laughs> when they said transparency, Martha, um, were, were, were they referring to what I think they're referring to with your OnlyFans? Like um, in terms no, of like we're garments, about transparency in government. garment transparency. Okay, mm, no, no. Well, I can see I don't why think... he raised one point three million because the last person was there for thirty years. Okay. Did the person die previous, or did they just get finally run out? I don't. Well, so why are you things. running to replace him? Um, because I'm an advocate and I realize that there's nothing you can do from the crowd. I would go. I mean, I could tell you some stories. It's just it's really bad. There's insane amounts of corruption. As you can tell by somebody raising $1.3 million for a $6,000 a year job. I mean, it's crazy the amount of corruption there is, the amount of power. And and um, as somebody who's sitting in the audience going up and talking to the commissioners, they give you a whole two minutes. And in those two minutes, you got to get your name, your address, and your issue out. And if you manage to um, get your point across, they ignore you anyway. So um, either you, you know, either you do something bigger, like run for office, or you accept what's going on and and that's it and i'm not here to accept what's going on i'm a person that does stuff now um do you mind if i play a, just a short clip of, of anthony talking because i, I want to ask you a question you can play. of course okay. Right. I thought you were going to play the OnlyFans video. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Okay. Um, here, I'm going <laughs> to play. I'm going to play. Again. I'm going to play this one first. All right. Anthony Rodriguez's company, Florida Advanced, for the past two years, two hundred and seventy dollars a month. And after the hurricane, there wasn't any help from anybody. All the unit owners were just kind of left to fend for themselves. You reach out to somebody, and there's no answer. Uh, I mean, the feeling that comes to me the most is just hopelessness. If Anthony Rodriguez was representing me, Whoa. I don't believe that he would answer my phone calls. I don't believe he would answer my messages. I don't believe that he would have my best interests in mind. Okay. Do you agree with that? 100%. I've actually gotten a whole bunch of emails from people that I can't use because I haven't had the opportunity to vet it uh, thoroughly and make sure that it's the truth. But I have gotten a lot of um, complaints from people that, um, you know, not only, not only is that seeming to be true, but it also seems to be true that um, he uses a lot of coercion. I'm not willing to to play that game. I'm not willing to go on record and say that he's doing these things if I don't have an investigation. Well, I wouldn't mess with a guy with that size teeth either. I wouldn't want to get with a <laughs> yeah. bunch of them. Uh, Come on, I have big teeth too, okay? okay. You mentioned, <laughs> <raise the> <laughs> those are pretty big. You mentioned $6,000 <laughs> a year. So like, do you know of any like actual corruption? Because that doesn't seem like a livable wage. I mean, how Absolutely. many hours a week is this job? Because $6,000 a, a year. Job. It's a full-time job, but here's what so, they don't tell you. So they also give you a uh, credit towards a car. Mm -hmm. They give you money for a cell phone. And then there's the perks. So I think it's about thirty or $40,000 on a credit card every year okay. in like, you know, expenses. And then there's what they don't tell you. Under um, the table stuff, right? Well, I mean, you're always campaigning, right? So you always have a pack. You're and you yeah. always are collecting money in that pack. And it turns out that the people who donate the most also, by sheer coincidence, I'm sure, are Need the your people votes. 
Right. They they get these votes for no yeah. bid contracts mm. and so on and so forth. I, I mean, it's pretty disgusting. The the one that made me how run. county commissions work and city yeah. and city councils. I mean, I think that's uh, politics in general. I mean, all the way from the bottom to the top in America. Mm, 30 right? years for the last guy. Like that seems like a uh, not a six thousand dollar a year job to me. Uh, to be honest, most people in the district, I'm out there talking to people and they're like, you know what? I I don't hate him. I think. It's time for him to retire, but he's done well for our community for a long time. The real corruption is pretty much the rest of the board. And um, the the one issue that made me run it that just really gets to me is um, how much money goes into their pockets. And then they turn around and give favors. And there was yeah. a little piece of land that they were giving away to a developer for $10 for low income housing. Um, that property was worth $26 million. Ooh. If we would have sold that piece of land for $26 million, the 90 families that they were supposed to be giving low low income housing to, which is really a $100, $200 discount on your rent, nothing more, could right. have, in theory, gotten close to $300,000 a piece. So, I mean, there's no way that you can tell me that that plan is better for the community. It's not better for the taxpayers. Well, but it was better for somebody. Yeah. It was better oh, yeah. for whoever. Like it was better scene. for whoever got those donations. For the developer, and the developer yeah. had the given developer, money to each yeah, and right. every one of the commissioners on the dais. Yep. And when I took it to the ethics department with proof, with everything, they told me there's no ethics violation here. Yeah, right. it's like that scene in Shawshank when they, it's like my my wife's donuts. You like them, right? And there was like hundred dollar bills in the donuts, and then they get the contract. I get mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it's, well, it's extremely. Uh, common and yeah all yeah. politics and he, i'd say that it, the probably the more local you get even the more like brazen it can be because there's less oversight but right, right. Like, play that game yeah so. they want that this is why they wanted to incorporate westchester the closer you get to the community the cheaper it is to buy the the officials so for example at the commission level um donations are twenty thousand dollars and above but when you go to a more local seat it's about five thousand so the the closer you are right. to the community the cheaper it is to buy them out Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, the lobbyists have been doing it for years. So, you know, the <laughs> lobby, the largest lobbyist at lobby -er in in Florida, um, I guess if I say his name, I don't know, he might come after me, but say um, it. Yeah, say it. he is. Well, you know what? You, you, you can look him up. He's the chair of the homeless trust for Miami-Dade County. Okay. He has been the chair for well over 10 years. His daughter is also a lobbyist who's running for office. And um, these wow. people get great contracts. They are yeah, huge. I bet. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. Are you I talking mean, about business. Ron Book? Big business. I am. So, 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 oh. as a, you want to essentially like uh, cut out the corruption, like uh, Rodriguez should cut out his eyebrows. Look at those eyebrows, <laughs> Look at those on eyebrows. That guy. Do you have any takes on those eyebrows? Um, no, I yeah, like a no. couple caterpillars glued to his forehead. Am I right? Does he have the most hair you, per maybe. square inch growing of any <laughs> human alive on his face? <laughs> a lot of hair i will give you the gossip though i've heard from yes. a lot of people that he dyes his hair white oh look at him what oh. really he's 11 years younger than i am he wants some salt oh, and pepper man. he wants to look a little look i got a little more distinguished he's been doing this for years apparently i i mean that's, I as, that's as dirty as i'll speak a, about word him. on the street that's well, i got weird. one more dirty question for you because so here's this campaign video i'm just going to play one one clip of it okay is he like, is he like creative or god oh. i cannot oh. nail these fucking oh. videos <laughs> I don't know yeah, what's you, going on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fuck the video. Um, he right, sounds, he, he's born, he was born here, right? He's, he claims he was born in Miami, but he still has a little bit of an accent. Is that a fake accent? Is he pandering to voters with that accent? Because you no, were. No, that's a Miami accent. Okay. It is. Okay. He's not out there Ted Cruz in it. No, no, that's a real Miami accent. Accent. We. He's probably more like Hialeah, like Spanish. Yeah. That's, okay. that's my typical Miami. Oh, okay, yeah. well, so you're so, so effectively the, the game plan is, you know, cut out the corruption, uh, actually, you know, n not take big, big money. Um, right. Yeah. So no, I, no, 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 but but not take big money, not take big money, which is where I've the corruption is. Right. Yeah. And, and raise the money through OnlyFans. Now, I, I want to point something out because this is kind of interesting. So on your OnlyFans, you have uh, an Amazon wish list, which is totally normal. 
Uh, I'm going to pop it up real quick. So I want to go Cuba. through some items. So That's we have life. Look at the top. It says people for Cuba supply list. Oh, this okay. Is, this is stuff that I send to Cuba. Understood. Oh, they're gonna, they're, that's a good idea. Because 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 we're going straight. We got uh, the lifestyles ultra sensitive. Got to be um, ultra sensitive. Good call. Yeah. Well, condoms first. Um, well, that and was then just I, the last thing added to it. Medicine. Sorry. There's a huge uh-huh. issue with um, with uh, uh, Cubans not being able to have birth control. I actually made a video really? on how the average Cuban woman has about 10 abortions oh, because whoa. not because she wants to have right. them, but because there's nothing available. So um, we insane. added condoms to send to Cuba. Um, so that's a, that's probably that. the most important thing maybe to avoid those, those I mean, average of 10. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. I saw you lived in uh, Venezuela for a while, right? I did. Or is that, so is that is that does that influence your politics now and how you see things, uh, you know, because that's like a the socialist nation, right? It is. But I lived there before it was socialist. So I'm old oh. enough to have lived there before Hugo Chavez took over. Um, um, I lived there from the time I was nine days old until I was I went back and forth between the States and Venezuela until I was about 15. Okay. And um, I lived there before Chavez took uh, power. And, um, you know, I remember living in a free, beautiful Venezuela where you could have, you know, there's there food, there was things weren't perfect, but it was good. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, I watched socialism march into this country and destroy it. Watch socialism march into this country and destroy it. And, right. um, you know, I my parents are Cuban. My father was a political prisoner. My mother broke him out of jail. He swam wow. from this town close to Guantanamo, the prison, the prison. Uh, U.S. Whoa, yeah, military yeah. Base. Um, and and the United States at that time in the early '70s, you know, when he made it to Guantanamo, they're like, "Welcome to America." They flew him to New Jersey. My dad, you know, had every opportunity in this country. Thanks to the, like, I am always going to be so appreciative to the United States. It is the most amazing country in the world. But um, my father moved to Venezuela to start a business. It was going well, and I remember him talking to Venezuelans and saying, "You know, I don't like this guy. Don't vote for him because this is what I lived through." This is what happened in Cuba, and I see it in him. He, you know, he trained with Fidel Castro. He believes in these same things. He believes in socialism. He, like, he's going to turn this into a nightmare. And all the Venezuelans that my dad used to talk to, and I remember because I was, you know, young. But in Latin America, your kids serve you your drinks. You know, I was his bartender yeah. when his friends came over, so I'd listen to all of these conversations. And it was like, oh my god, they used to call him the Cuban, and they'd be like, Cuban, like you don't know what you're talking about. Like oh, no. this is Venezuela. We have all this oil, and you know we're 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 fine. We're never belongs gonna... to the socialists now. Uh. <laughs> uh, they expropriated pr- uh, property yeah. from people the same way they did in Cuba. I mean, it's just the same story. And the so biggest my... traditional oil reserves, second biggest natural gas reserves in the Western. They can't Hemisphere. get to them. Yeah, they wow. are bigger. They have more oil than than all than the entire Dubai. Middle East. Yeah. Then yeah. then Rodriguez has eyebrows. <laughs> Oh man, which is a lot. Well, Look at those yeah. things. Well, I mean, God. he's married, right? If I, I, I don't know a married man with eyebrows like that. Like, what's his wife doing? You got it. Tweez- Do they not own tweezers or? Oh, a big troll. You could get in his head <laughs> big time. Is send him an eyebrow trimmer. Yeah. You, you would fuck his oh, weed shit. <laughs> up yeah I, Marvel, you I fuck know his shit. address is all i'm saying yeah just drop it off <laughs> yeah, just walk uh, i think you should need these i i guarantee yeah. you he overdoes it and then the next time you see him he's missing an eyebrow oh, it's gonna be it's gonna take him all day to get those things <laughs> he gets a, he gets a lot of manscape uh gift certificates at Christmas. <laughs> right. i mean that that's like a that's like a hair surgeon's dream like imagine grafting um a, a bald guy's head with that yeah. guy's beard like oh, it's he, just so many pixels he yeah, walks into right. a nail salon and they are all screaming like we're gonna need more people uh okay well sp- speaking of trimming uh your opponent's eyebrows i know you trim <laughs> something else uh you're a hemp farmer on the side oh. right oh so, i thought we were it, going somewhere else i was like damn uh, <laughs> oh, I, I mean Me like too. we wouldn't know I and we wouldn't presume we wouldn't yeah, presume. Sorry, I, didn't, I wasn't even going that route i'm more i'm a big but yes so I, i'm interested in your hemp farming uh and and what that's like in florida you know considering it's a medical only state right and do you right. think they'll go recreational cannabis at some point there like how's that I, all work i hope so i mean nice. this is ridiculous they they have taken our rights and sold it to the highest bidder so hmm. um in florida it's medical but it's really hard to get a license i'm i'm a hemp farmer because i can't be a cannabis farmer because right, i can't right. uh they haven't opened up the the applications for for cannabis since they started pretty much oh um, really yeah and each so who grows is, it then uh, the people who've paid for the first guys named TJ and DJ. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's 
that license right now in family the friends is 60 million dollars right exactly oh, well, it's, so it's, it's never, friends of friends of, of the people who friends gave of friends that away. have it yeah. right and I, so I, yeah. if you or i issue. put a seed in the ground we will go to jail for a long time but mm. these guys bought that right for 60 million dollars so if you don't have 60 million dollars well good luck to you i mean do you think that there's any chance that florida will see recreational i mean i i think Ron DeSantis is against it right so yeah w- what 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 do you see in terms of pushing for that inside your state? I mean, let's be honest. Everybody was up in arms over the basketball WNBA player that's in in yeah. Russia. So, mm-hmm. you know what? We're so hypocritical as a country. Yeah. We have we were like, oh my god, Russia is putting her in jail. Well, there's forty thousand people right here in the United States that are in jail Good that are point. there for the same reason. So, you know what? If that upset you, let me point you in the direction of your state senators, your Congress critters, because Guess what? We have that same problem right here in America. Point for Martha. That's a good point. Love that. Yeah. Well, keep pushing that because I think you're up against a brick wall in terms of who's in charge of the state right now. In terms right. Of, of course. And it's not just the state. It's, you know, all of these states. It's 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 crazy that we are OK with taking people's freedoms for a plant that they choose to use. It is a plant. Yeah. Like also- these people that are religious that are like, God is telling me, you know what? Alcohol doesn't just grow on a tree. You got to convert it into something. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> cannabis does. Cannabis, you can use it straight from the tree. You it can makes music it better. It makes food tastier. It's like everything. You, yeah, you could sleep so better. Non-addi- just, it doesn't cause addiction. Some stuff with cancer and stuff. And it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're big proponents of legalizing. And we thank you, for Martha, for fighting the good fight in the sunshine. Elon state, smoking you know? weed right here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't go. think he really smoked it. That was no. that was the, <laughs> no. the wussiest wussy. <laughs> it was a publicity yeah. stunt for sure. Yeah, he's a pussy sure. bitch. That's how Rodriguez would smoke weed. It was a sure. smart. Oh, you know he doesn't smoke weed. No, I bet no that man hasn't touched no. weed. No way. Not a chance. <laughs> no, not a chance. Um, uh, I might well, like him a little more if he did, but mm, yeah, for sure. Does. As as a capitalist, you you see the 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 the, the enormous possibilities of. Yeah, of if you don't want to find the true meaning behind Pink Floyd's album, it's up to you. <laughs> you know, it's crazy to me though. The Publix, the supermarkets here in Florida, they are one of the number one people behind the push to keep marijuana illegal. And no, I don't I can't say understand. That. We love Publix. Yeah, pharmaceutical pharmaceutical alcohol and police are a lot of the people who stop it. Yeah. But wait a minute, if you're Publix, don't you want people high and shopping yeah. your yes, stores? Yes, their sandwiches are so good. Yeah, but they, they sell Yeah, sandwiches. but they sell all the they sell all the pharmacy prescriptions and all the alcohol. So, when you think about it, that's the two big branches that don't want weed to be legal right. outside of police. And mm-hmm. so, Publix grocery stores obviously going to be anti-weed as well. Right. And I mean, grocery stores don't make a whole lot of money, but alcohol you know, mm-hmm. pharmaceuticals they, do. So they got to back their people, right? <laughs> Isn't that insane, though? I mean, I again, yeah. I just feel like they should be on board with it. They should sell alcohol. Oh, yeah. They should sell pharmaceuticals, and they cannabis. should mix it with it. They should they should start including it in certain pharmaceuticals. Yeah, the and line alcohol, would be so legal. long yeah. for the <laughs> weed at Publix. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, have you tried the I weed? I mean, at if Publix? they make weed like they make their sandwiches, yeah, line right. Would be- right? A little just joint shift, deli. Go, everyone deli? Would go straight from the weed line. Right Right to the deli line, just everyone. You know, like I mean, just stuff. just time it. You order on your app and you mm-hmm. smoke right outside. Walk in, you know, it quick, It'd quick and easy. Incredible. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Martha, we have a little tradition on this show. We're all degenerate gamblers, and we have um, uh, what's called the wheel. And the wheel is wise. Would you be willing to take a spin on the wheel to see if you will win this race against your opponent? Sure. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> This it's like pressure. knowing what minute you're going to die. You know, no. well, I am going to um, <laughs> let you tell me when to hit the button and uh, we will see if the what the wheel says. OK, so we've got Big Tooth Dweeb versus Hot Martha <laughs> Bueno. Um, you tell me when to go. OK, go for it. OK, spin it, Wes. There it goes. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. That's out of three. Spin it again. No, it's no, terrible. you know, I, I the truth of the matter is, is that um, Big Tooth Dweeb. He's more than likely going to win. Well, he got that 1.3 million. I mean, the wheel knows it's so smart. It's it's brutally honest. I'm sorry. It is brutally honest. Brutal. It's not the 1.3 million that worries me. It's uh, the um, the ballot harvesting that worries me more. 
Whoa. Ooh, really? What do you mean? Go on. Mail-ins, you think, or what? Um, so there's a tradition in Miami. And um, unfortunately, because I have this reputation, nobody's come to me because I would have loved to hear these stories directly from the people doing it so that then I had, you know, information to turn over uh, or whatnot. I, I'm not a snitch, but in this case. Um, so it, it's a tradition. Miami has lots of um, ballot harvesting. We even call them boleteras. It's women that go to women and men, I'm sure, that go to the elderly and help uh -huh. them, you know. Uh, oh. It's about manipulation, ah. right? not, like, not like theft, but like- They hold their old hands and like s sign and for them. Yeah, he's, he's got oh, the money. Let me help you. These are right. the good candidates and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. It's cost, actually on right? one of his, um, you know, we have to disclose our expenses. One of his expenses says clearly um, ballot absentee ballots, and you know it's just a son of a bitch. Wow, <laughs> you know it makes yes, me feel great when my it. opponent spent seventeen thousand dollars on right. absentee ballots. What does yeah. that even mean? He's already got thousands of votes secured before. It, but that's why it pays to be. That's why. So that this is a great discussion about how politics works. You know, it, it pays to be part of one of the major parties. I'm sure he got a big bump from that for fundraising. It pays to be do, cutting deals with people like he's doing. Probably then you get that mountain of cash and you just bury the op. You know, bury any people who are actually trying to make a real change. It's just people who want to join the fucking uh, kickback party. You know, right. basically. Right. Wow. Uh, so speaking of leaders. dirty politics, how much cash have you gotten together? Off his um, OnlyFans. Why is this picture why, why back up? Keep, keep I know, up? seriously. <laughs> um, my OnlyFans, I can tell you, have it up on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I, I've gotten about five thousand dollars on OnlyFans, nice. and oh, yeah. my campaign in general had about eighty thousand dollars. Can you can you just uh, if you got your OnlyFans up, can you just read the top three uh, DMs? You don't have to say who they're from, but just I want to. I'm curious what the top three well, DMs the, in your OnlyFans. Okay, Those are private sure. messages, Pat. Yeah, um, we don't have to dox the person. Just you know. But. Can you tell us the uh, the size and shape of the first three dick pics? That says? <laughs> mm -hmm. Describe them. So the first one says, "Are you going to do exclusive content?" Ooh. Okay, boring. And uh, Freddie says, "Hi, Martha. Are you going to post content soon?" Yeah, um, Freddie's Freddy, 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 horny. Freddie's yeah. ready. Yeah, I got those then, hands. <laughs> Um, C D S F D S G S whatever. Are we in love? Oh, oh yeah, smooth. Okay. That. Keep going. Um, yeah. Nova. Next you should just ask Freddie for a million dollars. He'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, for real. Some of these guys are for the to shot. Yeah. Are there any rando dick pics in there? Uh, not that I can see. I have one nice. that says, "Hi, what's your shoe size?" Oh, um, go, another guy know. that says, I'm a titty guy. You should show some tits. Mm, my favorite. Look at that. It's nice of him to tell you what he likes. Yeah. yeah what this is what, what I like. Yeah. Hey, you know what's missing? Yeah. <laughs> I like you know this. What's what I, we... from your purely political videos? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go a couple just more, Martha. I like do the this. same like video this. again. Just topless, you know? <laughs> this time, just, you know, remove all your clothes and fuck somebody while you're at it. <laughs> How many OnlyFans does Freddie have? A lot, probably. Freddy's I don't know. You can't guy. see their information. It's a horny dude. He's, he's in got a roll of yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, I can't see their information. I can only see, you know, names if they if they provide them. They're inside gotcha. the curtain. They um, are inside the curtain. <laughs> Great. Martha, if we send you tweezers though for real, will you leave them at homeboys for like front stoop? Like, I mean, I it's got to be. It's got to be this like a. Please send it with like his picture and like yeah. instructions. Yes. Right. Or something. It's, it's got to be the specific. Personalize it for him. Make the wand. Do you guys know the wand? It. Yes. They used we're to sell it on find, TV. We're going to find the best eyebrow trimming device and we're going to mail it to you and ask you to bring oh it Oh my God. Week. You'll yeah. be so in his head. If you You'll could do so it like a video But it would also do him a huge favor. It <laughs> yeah. would also be you know, a nice I think if you just send him this episode. Oh, yeah. 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 That might do we'll, the trick. We'll you, know, do that. you can save the money and just we'll do that. <laughs> All right, that's good. Point. I already ordered one. It's fifteen bucks. Uh, <laughs> it's going to your... cancel and just send cancel. them this. I think it does a way better job. Yeah, he could use some of those one point three million to get his own fifteen dollar one. Yeah. Exactly. So if, he's got if people money. do want to follow you on OnlyFans, uh, by the way, uh, Hard Factor. Well, me on behalf of Hard Factor, our re it's our OnlyFans research account. Is your newest subscriber? Uh, we're happy to support. Well, thank but you. If, if people want to find it. you, how do they find you? What do they do? So OnlyFans slash bueno 305 um and that then it's good media. boys yeah. <laughs> good. i am good um and then social media at bueno for miami and then my website my, uh, martha bueno.com that's awesome awesome mm -hmm. well we'd like to encourage all of our uh listeners in miami-dade county to uh if you like um you know 
beautiful politicians in, uh, at, that are pro weed and want to take down the establishment, get out there and vote for Martha. Um, mm. You know, don't be lazy. Get out there and vote. Mm. Martha, real quick idea, and you can you don't have to use this, but you're also free to use it without credit if you want. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we get a bunch of old school ballots, like from the 2000 um, Bush-Gore election, and the we have chads, chads yeah. hanging but revealing parts of your body, right? So like, like maybe like a chad's kind of hanging, there's like a little bit of nip under there, and a chad over here. <laughs> like in, uh, what do you think about that? Like in Major League. With the exactly, yes. like that. No, 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 I you're mean, thinking I'm of, so uh, flattered. Yeah, yeah. I am at that age, like I have, I have a 21 year old son. I'm so flattered right. that people Four, want to see me naked. I'm like, what can I say? It's great. Thank you. Well, you're, well, you're doing it. Dudes, keep it yeah. tight. Four, four kids. By the way, congrats. Thank That's you. crazy. Awesome. So your oldest is 21. What's, what's the ages on all of them? 21, 18, 15, and 13. Wow. And you're campaigning. Do you think they're getting razzed at school that mom's on OnlyFans? You know, just yesterday, my son, uh, I was at a debate and my son kept sending me messages and I'm like, what's going on? I'm thinking the house is like on fire. You know, when kids start sending you messages, it's like, oh, my God, what's going on? And it's like, mom, mom, my friends found your OnlyFans. Yeah. And they keep yeah. asking to have yeah. sleepovers at our Tell house. To sign up. Tell him to sign up. Maybe you're not knock it off, mom. Any. Yeah. I'm not showing him a free link so that his friends could see that I was not actually nude. Yeah. Right. Right. Someone keeps asking go. about the hanging Chad video. I don't know what that means, yeah. but now you do. <laughs> no, it's a great gimmick because you're not nude on there. You just no, say, hey, sign up and find out. Right. And then they sign they pay even. you the money. I'm not promising Poor anything. Freddie. Oh, I'm stop. Thinking. Martha, stop it. Stop it. You're doing this all wrong. We don't know if Martha's nude on there or not. We have up, no man. idea. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to we get behind know. the paywall right. and find out. But you can True. send me messages and I'll respond. Oh, there you go. There you go. Mm. Hear and that, you can Freddie? send me whatever you want to. I mean, I am totally open. To it. <laughs> Be careful because the pics come in blurred at first and then you have to unblur them. And I mean, I feel like if you're going to send me those and you want me to look at it, there should be a tip. Yeah. yeah, no, not, yeah no, there's I mean, a tip. There. there is a tip. Yeah, yeah. There's a tip not button. that tip. I, yeah. I thought of right. it. Yeah. I was like, mm, not Sometimes that tip. Sometimes he's wearing a hood. Tip to tip each time. <laughs> yeah, How each about time. I will um, comment on it first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you how, you, how you're doing. You can, you'll grade it. You'll, gra you'll I'll grade, grade it. it. I'll grade it for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I may have seen a few. I don't know. That, yeah, so go, that's go probably over to the, get some. That's probably, probably going to get a lot of. Go over there to watch Miss Bueno get mad. Don't vote for the weirdo that. P pretends to be older than he is by playing dress up with. And the, then he also uh, he also said this is I, we didn't get to this part of the interview, but he goes, we have to continue the economy. That was oh, his, that, that was, was his, my favorite point. About oh, the my God. I, I would like to know what role he thinks he's he's running for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, does he think he's going to take Biden's job? I'm not sure. what. He oh, this is his first step. He's ready to continue the economy. Yeah. That's his whole platform. I, he's literally, I, I've never seen a worse interview than the one, than, than the one he gave in that, that NBC. But the crazy spot. thing is people still vote for him. I know. They vote, they vote down party, the, the party, yeah. the name, and he's got the, he can pay for the collections. Party plus you know. the harvesting. Yeah. Pretty good. It must be, but it's a nonpartisan race. So, I mean, his party doesn't show up on the ballot. Oh, there really? You it's a tough hill to climb, but what? It is Martha. We hope you climb it, and we hope our listeners who are listening who can help you help you climb it too. That's right. Thank, thank you, you guys. for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you guys yeah. for having me. This was awesome. Cool. Oh, thank you. I thought. I, if, why did I hear that you guys were going to be so hard on me? Who told, who told you that? Who told you that? I don't know. They told me somebody on here might be a little socialist. I was like, oh, do I have to? Do I get to debate? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. oh, I, I well, am a. I am a th in theory socialist, but not not in practice socialist. Right. The libertarian. Oh, I'm so disappointed to though. Especially I not if you've experienced it in South America. Like, are you yeah. kidding? No. Uh, the the nice. debate that will never end: socialism yeah. versus capitalism. Yeah. yeah but forever. I've lived in both of them, and I really like capitalism. It's mm. so yummy. Oh so yeah, sexy. it's it's pretty good. It's pretty it good. Pretty good. I like having whatever type of food I want to have. It's addicting. It is. Well, I'm not talking about the whole state, but you know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, just pick and choose. Yeah. I only want to be. We all want the same things. Places. People to be, you know, you know, happy and and healthy, right? So it's all that's right. Know, right. right. I think the yeah. the ultimate goal that we all want is for everyone to be able to have those things, and yeah. I think what we're discussing is just how we approach getting there. Exactly. You're yeah, both. like socialized sex sex work. I think both also. you have your hearts in the right places. Aww. Socialized sex work. Yeah. How about uh, we just legalize be, it? Yeah, yeah. Socialized sex work. I, that I would agree. be like uh, just legalize it. Yeah. Didn't they used to do that? 
that was mental institutions, right? Socialized sex work. No, but Wasn't I think that, that's, I think you're that's bastardizing your wonderful take about how to stop school shootings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hand jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We, oh, yeah. no, no. That, <laughs> we're that saying if every, kid, <laughs> if every kid got a hand job from like a, that a would be up nurse by the age of like no, no, 12 no, no, or 13, no, no. it those, might help. Those, like, those lovely ladies would have to shootings. volunteer for that job. And I well, think for sure. No, no, we're not forcing anyone to give hand jobs. They would they would get paid handsomely to give these little bastards hand jobs. It would be quite a program. I mean, you would get a check from Uncle Sam, but you're not you're not you some are, laws would have to be forgotten like you know no the way has paid for, for dolphin this. hand jobs um i don't know yeah. if you guys have dolphin ever heard what you say yeah, yeah in the 70s there was What'd a program say? where where <laughs> they the uh i think it was the fbi the cia somebody paid yeah. for a study where a woman was trying this doctor was trying to teach a dolphin to speak and it was a young male dolphin <laughs> he started speaking he eloquently speak. after the hand jobs <laughs> She yeah. noticed he wouldn't pay attention, so she started, um, you know, performing yeah. services. The dolphin ended up committing suicide. It was very oh, sad. I was going to say, very the dolphin started story. teaching oh, the class. Me. No, oh, they no. shut down the program, and the dolphin this, was moved to a tank. The hand jobs what? must have been terrible. What's the thing? The hand jobs must have been so good that he committed suicide once that's he stopped right. yeah, That's right, yeah, once he got out of once yeah. he, he fell in get love. Anymore. Take a hand yeah. job away from a dolphin. <laughs> not not we're, a good idea. We're, we're talking about giving incels hand jobs, okay? At a certain age, once they hit it, and then you say, "Hey, like, no, guy, you got to have your mandatory hand job now, I so you don't it. shoot up anybody." The dolphin you know? thing's like getting dumped by the lady with two vaginas. It's you're never gonna get better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we got to wrap it up. Oh, this right. took a weird turn. All right. <laughs> Martha, thanks for thanks for coming on. Thank we you wish guys. you the best. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Get out there and vote for Martha, everybody. All right. Fabulous interview. Mm. Uh, amazing, I would say. I really still think that it. she should. Uh, I I'm going to send her the eyebrow trimmer because that is going to fuck that guy up. Just to Oh, him. right. Yeah, to drop it off. Anyway, but yeah, we're running long. So uh, <laughs> what, are they, what do we say at the end of the show, Wes? We say uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Are we going to wheel it? Are we going to do the wheel? We should, oh, yeah, we got to wheel it. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It is it's just me and Pat. You two. Me and Pat. Mm -hmm. It is between you. I got it here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and because I'm already on the high five mm -hmm. for Friday's episode. Mm -hmm. So I'll remove myself here. There you go. And one of you will be cu cup of just, coffee. Just one. One of, one of you will be TikTok. One, will be one spin to rule them all. The here stone man. Maybe we get that. Maybe we get a monkey. <laughs> one of you will be the stone master. <laughs> Hey, oh, rub, it's so close. Rub my stone for good luck. Oh, Pat is the stone master. Stone All master right. Pat. <laughs> Pat on the cup of coffee tomorrow. Wes on the TikTok international moment. Will on the high five. Yeah, get out there. Have, have a great fucking day. We'll see you tomorrow. Patreon.com slash hard factor. Hard factor. Cheat on the news.